Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, very good day, morning, uh, ladies. Uh, I'm Zainal Akbar, uh, currently the Vice President for the Institute of Intern Auditors Malaysia. Uh, I've been in the intern audit career for the last uh, 20 years uh, since I graduated in 1998 from the Curtin University of Technology Australia. Uh, I've been in the, also been in the internal audit, uh, has been in external audit uh, fraternity before, have been involved in a, in a group finance uh, for a year or two, and also uh, involved in a general management of a, of a listed company in Malaysia. So I come with a, with a, with a, with a consolidated experience of my, of my career, which actually uh, led me to carry out my duties uh, now uh, more effectively. 20 years is a long years, yeah? See, as, as, as specified by the IPPF, huh? IPPF is an is a Institute of Intern Auditors um, framework, it's, it's a code mm -hmm. of conduct, uh, it's, it's a practice guide, it's all in one, which is known as an international uh, practice, uh, professional practice framework. Mm -hmm. So uh, what actually the role uh, has been uh, prescribed by the, by, the, by the standard is that, uh, see, uh, internal audit is an independent uh, objective assurance uh, consulting um, activities designed to add value and improve organization. Uh, this is a very uh, 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 interesting uh, objective whereby last time, in generally, people know that inter auditors is normally checking people who checks, who done checks, you know. And, and of course, it may be true that certain point of time, but now it's more towards, in the end, you internal auditors, you be able to give an assurance uh, to the, the stakeholders or, and also add values to its auditees. Mm -hmm. So that is a new role uh, that we are playing now uh, for, some, for some time now. Okay, uh, uh, broadly, broadly speaking, our internal auditors uh, will examine issues uh, related to company business practices and risk. It's basically internal, mm -hmm. very internal process. Um, meanwhile, external auditors, they derive their powers uh, under the Companies Act, mm -hmm. whereby all the companies registered with the Companies Act uh, 1965 will have to conduct an external audit uh, on their financial records mm -hmm. okay so uh, external audit um, uh, examine the financial rec records and issues um, uh, an opinion regarding the financial records only okay. uh, normally they won't come and, and, and audit the operationalized issues mm -hmm. so uh, broadly i mean uh, in a brief internal auditors uh, will check everything under the sun in the company mm -hmm. meanwhile external auditors uh, a statutory duties uh, under the Companies Act. Uh, even though the name uh, sounds similar, but actually two distinct uh, a field of uh, field of work. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> see, when it comes to independent. Um, uh, In this case, as, as we all know, that uh, internal audit is a third line of defense uh, yes. in any organization. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the first line of defense will be the, uh, the effectiveness of the controls that you have. Uh, for example, uh, uh, simple controls like having SOPP in place, having a limit of authority in place. The second line of defense will be the uh, the management himself, mm -hmm. the management of the company who serve uh, as, a, as a check and balance and performing their executive duties. And the third line of defense will be the, uh, the Institute of Internal Audit, I mean, the, the internal auditors, where they will come in as, as to perform a checks on the things that has been executed earlier mm -hmm. by the management. So um, when it comes to independence, uh, it's a very valid question, uh, one, mm -hmm. um, because you were, the staff of the company, you probably would be in the company looking at the staff every day 
uh, and actually Malaysian culture actually is very tough, you know. Oh, uh, you know. But but uh, they, that is that is the way the, the the internal audit breed themselves is very very um, niche, whereby uh, we have to we have to be focused in our objective, which is to provide independent assurance to our stakeholders. At the same time, we have to add value to our auditees. You know, we cannot just say, okay, I find this, I find that. So what? So what is the risk to the company? Because there is no risk, then why you find it? You know, it's not a finding in the first place. So the third one is how you bring yourself, how you communicate among the auditees, you know. Uh, how do you uh, uh, perceive that you can be a trusted partner, you know, uh, to the auditees? So I always view this. Uh, I always told these people that uh, I'm independent. That means that independent here means that you are not uh, subject to any uh, operationalized uh, activities in the company. For example, you won't be involved in the company's day-to-day -day activities. You have to be very purchase with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have any operational responsibilities. You know, mm -hmm. uh, for example, kute utang or any other operational activities is not do, and and. Uh, at the same time, uh, you must be able to communicate uh, well with the auditees on your presence and convince them that you are here to help them actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's a way that... Rather than to check on that. Rather than check on that. You have to get their buy-in in order for you to move forward. I mean, I'm talking based on experience here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, external auditees are very independent. Um, I mean, basically, they are the they are the uh, uh, audit, auditors, audit firm, chartered accountants, registered under Malaysian Institute of Accountants, mm -hmm. and they have been uh, licensed issued by Ministry of Finance Malaysia. Uh, basically, they are in accordance with the Companies Act. Mm -hmm. Okay, so normally they will come in only once a year mm -hmm. to look into our books, mostly on a financial records rather than operation issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, their job also evolving, if you ask me, they also now are required to check some of the material transactions uh, involving related party transactions mm -hmm. and also AMLA, you know, whether mm -hmm. the company involved in any mm -hmm. fraudulent activities, you know. So they, they also uh, uh, basically, uh, they also nurturing uh, their roles uh, on a yearly basis, depends on what the what the new uh, uh, new regulations uh, is based uh, impose on them. Okay. Uh, this is just a good question. You see, in a current economic environment uh, characterized by doubts uh, and uncertainty and changes in constant, and those responsible for the organization must be prepared to respond quickly and assertive in the challenges uh, they face. Uh, internal audit activities can play a relevant role here mm -hmm. by providing information that may allow those in charge to decide uh, more knowledgeable, informed decisions. I'll give an example. Um, we don't have a direct role in nation building, mm -hmm. but we have an indirect role in corporate governance, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and also uh, providing uh, independent um, assurance to the stakeholders that can help them make informed decisions. For example, let's say you are an investor, mm -hmm. you want to involve in the, you want to invest in a company, a foreign investor. Okay? So you look into what are the controls that we have, you know, they look okay, they have their own internal auditors mm -hmm. team there and quite uh, they've done a good job. You when you do a duty evaluate all these, say the your presence make them more comfortable to invest in you. So those are the economic generation that we make. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a company with internal auditors is much more attractive to the, to the foreign investors, especially than a company without internal audit practice. Uh, anything. So it's an indirect contribution uh, to the nation building by by enhancing corporate governance in a in a in a basically an listed company environment. You know. Enhancing, enhancing the economic uh, uh, growth in, indirectly, yeah, I'll see.